Hi guys, so I wanted to make a video showing my process for these little deer sculptures. So basically I just found these little sculptures from Value Village. They were about two or three dollars each. Made in Japan, pretty cute. So I thought maybe I'd give them a try and see if I can repaint them because the paint job wasn't super great. So I took some gesso and a one inch little sponge brush and I just kind of dabbed the gesso all around the sculpture. In between coats I probably waited about maybe five to ten minutes. I did about two, two and a half coats I'd say. Sometimes you can get a better result for gessoing if you sand the sculpture down lightly, which I should have done first but I was kind of lazy so I didn't bother. I'm just using Liquitex brand uh, acrylic paints and just a general assortment of brushes. I'm also using an additive which slows the drying time for my acrylics. And then I just mixed a bunch of colors up that I thought were appealing. I really like bright, kind of pastel y colors and midnight y kind of purples and blues. And then I decided to do just a general assortment of colors because I wasn't really sure what direction I wanted to go in. And here I am just painting the sculpture, kind of doing uh, just like a general, like softening of the colors, doing little gradients, nothing super complicated. Basically just kind of figuring out as I go along what I like best. For the other sculpture with the antlers, I decided to do more of like a minty kind of green. I really love this mint pastel color. It's really fun and vibrant and I just think when things are painted that they look super cute. Here I am just adding some really nice mints with like yellows and a little bit of like a blue color. I think I used a lot of brilliant blue acrylic color, cadmium yellow, which I love, and just kind of uh, used my knowledge of color theory to go over what I wanted it to look like in my head. So I kind of already had an idea that I wanted like these soft gradients of colors with like the black eyes. And I was also drawing in between coats so I could handle it easier and turn it as I'm going along and not have to wait so long between dry times. I only did about one coat for the colors since I had so much primer on there. I didn't really need to do additional coats of paint, which is why the primer is so helpful. It makes a really solid base and you don't have to worry about adding a lot of layers of paint. Here's some more time-lapse footage and then we'll get on to the results. And here's what the deer figurines look like now that they're finished. I'm super happy with the results. I think they turned out really, really cute. And I just love using these kind of pastel colors in all of my art. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because I'll be doing a lot more stuff like this in the future. Thanks for watching.